Welcome back. We're climbing up onto the George Washington Bridge now. Still got about a half a mile before we're there. But again, you can see upper level, all trucks to New Jersey. Lower level, no trucks. And Mr. Impatient there had to get five extra feet ahead. Again, I can't stress it enough. Leave space. Driving a big truck, leave space. You don't need to ride right up when that guy's behind. It might cost me a little bit of time, but in the long run, it's a whole lot less stress for me and less chance of being in a collision. How much time would that take up if you got in a crash and had to stop in this mess and exchange paperwork and insurance information and take pictures and then think of all the people that you're inconveniencing because you backed them up because you got two or three lanes blocked off. So the next time you get behind a truck that's going slow and taking his time around a curve or in traffic, I guess, think about think about what would happen if he didn't take his time or if he got in a hurry and caused an accident. How, how mad would you be then if you were behind that? You know, those things don't clean up and if God forbid if it's a fatality accident, well now they gotta bring investigators out. They gotta do all that, so. If you see a trucker taking his time, be thankful he's not being in a hurry and making bad decisions or forcing other people to make bad decisions. Ah, see we got a little broke down here that's causing this little backup. See him up there, that yellow truck? He's broke down. Oh, it might be an accident. Can't tell, but he's half out into that lane to my right. People got to get around him, so we'll let him do that. No reason to get up there and get in a hurry or jump lanes or anything like that. Look, and I, I'm on a time crunch here. I've got. I've got just over an hour to go 40 miles and you see how it's going right now not very well so I could be aggressive and and act that way but I'm, I'm not going to because if I do cause an accident I'm gonna take even more time so looks like she ruined in him and now it's cleared up I hugged that dotted white line so people could get around on the right side of me too you know, one thing you guys can't see, I don't think, is the surface roads below are crazy busy as well. This is interstate, for you, those of you who don't know. This is I-95. This is interstate, and it's creeping along through here. So, the surface streets below us were just as cram-packed and moving slower, and they got to deal with stop signs and pedestrians and all that, so it would be worse. That's why drivers don't like delivering into New York City. It's it's a hassle and it's stressful and if you don't have patience or things going your way, you're gonna freak yourself out. All right, here we go again. Everyone's doing about 15 or 20 and you get the oddball like that guy that's thinking that running 25 or 30 and jumping in front like that guy's gonna do is gonna really get you somewhere a lot faster. It is not. But you're taking some chances that you probably shouldn't take. Those are the people that cause accidents. Uh, this right lane is ending. There was plenty of, plenty of signs that it's merging up here. And, People are still gonna come on up. And every last one's gonna try and squeeze in where there's no room to squeeze. Unless they squeeze in in front of me. I am leaving room. Oh. That room 
disappeared pretty quick. guy in this Kenworth that's just rude tight lanes as it is he's flying up on people thinking that people are just gonna let him over because he's big he's gonna threaten his way over there you heard his engine brakes he come flying up there like he owned it I'll give this advice again you come up on a driver like that stay away from him he's not professional That's the last one. I'm checking my mirror. The rest of them are behaving. Alright. Here we climb. Up on to the upper deck of the George Washington Bridge. My GPS's are trying to figure out where I'm at though. Because they've been underground for a little bit there. Truck GPS has me driving in the river right now. <laughs> there it goes. They figured it out. Okay. Headed into New Jersey. Again, we're on top of the George Washington Bridge. And once we climb down off of it, I'm going to kill the recording and get on to my destination. I'm running low on time. I think it'd be cool to climb up on top of that. Let's check it out. Gotta be a heck of a view. Alright folks, we're climbing down, we are now into New Jersey, I'm headed on to my next pickup, we'll see ya, be safe, later.